Welcome to Bourbon Rendezvous, our place on YouTube to meet, to talk about, and drink bourbon. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at Stag Jr. Batch 17. Stay tuned. Junior Bat 17 coming in at 128.7 proof. This bottle right here kind of goes along with the story of me taking advantage of myself. When I say taking advantage of myself, I mean that when we don't know our MSRPs and we don't know what we're looking for, sometimes we can walk into the trap that some of the retailers will set saying, I want to price this at whatever I want to price it. So, interesting story on this one. I came in one night. Um, it, was a, it was a liquor store that I wasn't familiar with. We were in an area I wasn't familiar with, and I stopped in, and their truck had just come in, and this was sitting on the counter, two of these. So I saw it, and I was like, okay, I want that one. Hadn't seen Stag Jr. anywhere else before. I didn't really do the research to find out what the price was ahead of time. Actually, never really expected to see one. Uh, didn't realize this was a fifty to sixty dollar bottle MSRP, and as I approached the counter and I saw it there, I thought, "Oh my goodness, what's that going to cost?" He said, "You know what? I'm going to put these on the shelf for one hundred and sixty nine dollars, and right now, because you just walked in, I'm going to sell it for one hundred and thirty nine." I said, "Oh my God, one hundred and thirty nine! I gotta have it! I gotta have it! I got I got that FOMO! I gotta have it!" Right? I wasn't even sure which batch it was at that point. I just knew it was a Stag Junior. Um, luckily, it's the 17, which everybody has been raving about. Um, so I feel like I took advantage of myself by not doing my research ahead of time and knowing what the price was of MSRP. Like I said, $50 to $60 bottle. I don't know that you'll ever see it $50 to $60. Um, some of the retail stores, the liquor stores that I deal with, would probably sell it to me for $50 or $60 uh, if they had it on their shelf, but nobody's ever had it. So that's one way I took advantage of myself and not knowing exactly what my bottle was worth ahead of time. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open here. Oh my goodness, good pop, good pop. Mmm, boy that smells good. That has a fruity smell right from the get-go. I am really excited about it. Um, this bourbon, you can tell, it's going to coat really well. You know, it's kind of hard to give a, a blind test or, a, or a, give a test that says what you think because I've already been influenced. I've seen probably 10 different reviews, maybe even more on this one, of people lucky enough to have already had that 17 Stag Junior. So I'm going to taste this and, and kind of give you a feel for what I, what I feel on it. Um, it does have a super, super fruit forward uh, smell on it. I'm smelling, I don't know, like... Maybe raisins? I, I don't really hear that as, as far as the fruit that I'm... Um, maybe like raisin bread. Like when you get that, when you go to the store and you get that bread already made, of course, and you pop it in the toaster and it's that raisin cinnamon bread and you get that kind of a, you make toast out of it and it's kind of that yeasty raisin cinnamon. That's kind of what I'm smelling here. Luckily, I love that bread and I love that toast. I don't eat it very often, but it is really good. Let's go ahead and taste this. This is coming in at 128.7. It's got a little bit of a hug. I'm not gonna lie, that one kind of took me by surprise. I've tasted so much stuff that was in that 125, 130 proof and it hasn't had a lot of heat to it. This doesn't have a lot of heat to it, but it did have a little bit of a hug to it. This is very fruit forward, but there is a little bit of, I don't know if it's the barrel char that's bringing in a little bit of tan into it, or, um, so I'm, I'm getting cherry on that, and I'm getting, as, as the taste goes on, I'm getting kind of odd. I would expect this of a rye, which this is not a rye. This is your Buffalo Trace uh, product. So um, I'm getting a little bit of mint on the end of that one. It's 
Tip number two, just really for mouth coat. And I'm still getting that mint at the very end, but unmistakable with the fruits, the cherries, the raisin, um, delicious pour right here. I would say that this bottle at 50 or $60 um, is a fantastic value. Um, I'm seeing where this fat bottle actually goes for more like 200. I got mine for 139, like I said. Thought I was getting a deal on it, but at 139, I might, I might actually buy that again. Um, I thought I took advantage of myself, but this is really, really good. And if unable to get it anywhere else, 139 wouldn't be the end of the world for this one. Um, so I guess the law, moral of the story is that you should always do your research ahead of time, study up on what your bottles are worth, what the uh, MSRP on them is, so you can know whether you're getting an actual good deal or whether you're just buying out of you don't want to miss it, which I will admit, I didn't want to miss this one. I'm glad I didn't miss this one. I'll keep this one around for a while and um, I hope that you're able to find this. Um, Stag Jr. Batch 17, 128.7 proof. If you can find it, I recommend it. It is absolutely delicious. So that's going to do it tonight for us with Buffalo Trace Stag Jr. and Bourbon Rendezvous. That's going to put this episode away and I would really, really appreciate it if you would hit the like button and the subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm trying to put out uh, a lot of content early on to try to get this channel up and going. Um, really love the fact that we've got some support out there with some, some subscribers and also a couple of Patreons that have joined our Patreon. Um, you'll find a link for the Patreon below and if you want to support the channel that way, I really appreciate it. Thanks for listening and I will see you on the next episode of Bourbon Rendezvous. My name's Mike the Cat and I approve this message. Mm.